Thank you very much, Dr. Nadeem, for the kind introduction. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, introduction of uh, gallium PSMA PET CT in prostate cancer. I have no conflict of interest to declare. Uh, there is some uh, affiliation. Uh, today, I talk about some introduction about the gallium PSMA PET imaging. We we'll talk about the molecular imaging in prostate cancer, then emphasizing on the gallium PSMA PET CT, their protocol, role and integration, and pitfalls. And finally, I will conclude uh, summary and conclusion. So as Dr. Javed already talked about the prostate, this is a heterogeneous uh, spectrum of clinical disease, and that's why it will be challenged to treat. Uh, prostate is a second leading cause of death in men, and over 200,000 new cases are occurring each year in the United States of America. Uh, mainly, they are localized, 80% 80, 80 and some are uh, local regional disease in 12% and, and a quite small percentage are, uh, are uh, presented as a metastatic disease. So what is uh, molecular prostate imaging? It is a non-invasive uh, technique that integrates the uh, metabolic and molecular process. Either you will exploit that there will be alteration in glucose, that is FDG, or you can uh, uh, imitate or review the amino acid and fatty acid metabolism. And some, some, some radiopharmaceuticals uh, show you about the receptor status, cellular proliferation, uh, tumor hypoxia, and, and blood flow. And, and th that's why this molecular imaging is very good in the primary staging of prostate cancer, recurrent disease, and it also predicts the aggr uh, aggressiveness of the disease. So, though there are the, some radiopharmaceuticals, uh, talk about so the metabolic uh, markers, there are the FDG. FDG is less useful in, in prostate cancer because of the low uptake. Uh, that's why they, they, they developed some other radiopharmaceutical that are uh, uh, carbon 11 choline or fluorocholine uh, or uh, fluorine 18 fluorocholine. That's about the amino acid and fatty acid synthesis. And the, the remarkable uh, development occur when they uh, integrate, uh, interrogate the receptor uh, membrane that is gallium PSMA or fluorine 18 PSMA. So what is actually a uh, PSMA is a prostate specific membrane antigen. It is a glycoprotein uh, uh, and it is present in the, all the prostatic tissue. But it is overexpressed in the prostate cancer cells. Around 95% of prostate cancer cells have overexpressed the prostate specific membrane antigen. And the density of their expression is depend on the glycin score and castration is, uh, uh, status. And the patient, when become castration resistant, the overexpression is uh, increased in this one. So uh, the PSMA can be used as a non-diagnostic technique to image a prostate cancer with increased PSMA expression, not only in the uh, localized disease or primary disease, but it can detect the regional or distant metastatic lesions as well. It is not new. The, the initial PSMA was discovered in early 90s by uh, imaging the prostate, but the images are not, not as good because of the biodistribution of that tracer. And uh, in 2001, uh, German research group developed an uh, agent that is gallium PSMA. Gallium radiopharmaceutical is a pet radiopharmaceutical, and you can image the much quality, a much better quality images with, with the gallium PSMA. So since in, in introduction, uh, gallium PSMA has gained a popularity as a non-invasive, highly sensitive, accurate imaging modality for prostate cancer diagnosis, staging, and treatment planning as well. In 2020, uh, the gallium PSMA uh, peptide 11 was approved by FDA uh, for the uh, diagnosis of prostate cancer, especially in the biochemical uh, bio recurrence. And till, till after that one, it will be more utilized in initial staging as well and predicted response. And, and the selecting the patient for the lutetium PSMA therapy as well. So what is gallium PSMA? We, we use around five to 10 MCI. Uh, 
and the uptake we will use around the the time of injection to the imaging is around 60 to 90 images it it will acquire around 2 to 3 minute pad position it will take around 20 minutes depend on the scanner the new new scanners a little bit less time and the old scanner uh, take you around 30 minutes and this is the normal bio distribution of PSMA. PSMA, you can you can see that one. PSMA more localized the uh, the physiological distribution in the salivary gland. You can see uh, the the bio distribution and the clearance of that tracer by the renal. That's why you can see the kidney and little bit activity in the bowel as well. So physiological distribution, you can see in the renal corset, uh, urinary bladder, larynx, salivary gland, spleen, and the, there are some uh, physiological normal variant you can see in uh, gallbladder uptake, celial ganglion uptake, and uh, in, even in the gynecomastia, there is a mild uh, tracer uptake is seen. So what is the role? As you can see, this is a, uh, it, it's a cycle, tumor cycle of prostate cancer. Uh, it can be used in early staging when uh, the uh, patient is hormonal sensitive and the later part is also in you can be utilized in a castration resistant part as well. For staging, it will be uh, very good, highly relevant in the intermediate high risk and very high risk group, uh, especially when the glycine score is 9 to 10 or glycine score 7 to 8 where the PSA is high and especially in the patient with a young age, long expectancy have a high utility of initial staging of PSMA PET CT. And it is a highly potential role, in, especially in nodal, nodal staging. Uh, MRI is still a modality of choice for the, uh, for the primary staging. You can see the uh, capsular invasion and vessel bundle involvement, but it will be very useful PSMA for the nodal staging, especially in the initial staging of the primary tumor. This is an example of an uh, 80, year, uh, 80 year old male uh, with a glucosin score of 7 with a PSA of 16. And you can see that one, the, the PSA may uh, a high expression in the right peripheral zone with SUV max of 10.5. And uh, unfortunately, you have a high PSA max uh, ex, uh, expression in the right seminal vesicle as well. So there will be the infiltration of PSA may expression to the seminal vesicle as well. The, the second most important uh, utility of PSMA is the guiding of biopsy with the highest suspicion of uh, prostate cancer. It can guide you the uh, for the uh, P PSMA, especially when it is combined with the MRI, have a potential uh, indication by using the fusion biopsy. This is a, a paper published in European Journal of Uro uh, Urology in 2016, and they, they can combine the fusion imaging has a great potential by guiding the pros uh, uh, for guiding the prostate cancer biopsy. And the sensitivity of combining is a little bit higher as compared to the PET CT alone. And this is an example. Uh, this is a case from our our side. You can see that was 70 year old male with an intermediate risk of prostate cancer. Uh, the the altered signal seen on MRI. This is a, a, a increased PSMA in the right peripheral zone of uh, prostate. And the PET MR show you the how how the multi modality uh, improve the sensitivity and diagnostic accuracy in diagnosing the localized prostate cancer. Uh, then the talk about the, the topic, what we have, the low dose rate uh, LDR prostate brachytherapy is still in investi uh, investigational, but it can help you in uh, detecting the localized prostate cancer by lesion detection and localization. The PSMA can help you by defining the extent of the disease within the prostate and identifying the extra prosthetic extension or might you unexpected lymph node involvement that will be not visualized on, on, on MRI because of the sub-centimeter uh, uh, on in, in size. And it also help in the tumor characterization. It provides you the valuable information about the biological characteristics of a tumor, set, such as the aggressiveness of the tumor. High aggressive tumors mean, means that there will be a high PSMA expression. 
and it will it will tell you that will be a more ex ex expression on PSMA will will tell you it have a potential for metastasis in later stages. It gives you an idea about the treatment planning as well, about the target volume, optim optimizing the uh, the placement of radio seed and, and the prostate, ensure that adequate coverage to the tumor while minimizing the damage to the surrounding healthy tissues as well. Or might you uh, they can they can boost a little bit more on 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 that areas, and and it can be a potential role. But these are keep in mind that these are all investigational. It can might help with the assessment of treatment response uh, response to the LDR therapy. It allow for the early detection of the residual or recurrent disease, which can be crucial for the primary intervention and management. But still. The astro uh, uh, tell you that one uh, uh, regarding regarding the role of this futuristic or uh, uh, tracer like PSMA 11 or fluorine 18 PSMA uh, uh, labeled DC FBI level. These are the novel agent ongoing such as PSMA PET become an expected standard in the staging evaluation of patient with a localized high risk prostate cancer. But still, these these one are the in investigation. You need a future studies to determine the how these information will be used uh, uh, to incorporate it in a clinical decision making and outcome for the treatment upon. The second best part is the restaging uh, or in in the use of restaging of prostate cancer. It can find the uh, finding of recurrence, especially when the patient has a biochemical recurrence, and it can help in the restaging in the salvage therapy categories. It can be used in the monitoring therapy, or it can be used for the uh, for the uh, uh, eligibility of radionuclear therapy, such as a lutetium PSMA therapy. Uh, the PSMA has a promising, uh, promising role in detection of the biochemical recurrence. So uh, currently, uh, the, the ASTRO uh, or NCN guideline approved for the biochemical recurrence of prostate cancer, even in the low PSA grade, like 0 0.2 to the 0 0.10 identification rate, and can be used for the RT planning as well. This is a case of 69-year-old metastatic uh, um, the PSA was rising, it become 1.1 uh, and you can see that one, it not only detect the uh, residual residual in the prime, primary side prostate, but it can detect the uh, a common iliac, para aortic and unfortunately having a PSMA avid rib lesion as well. So not only in the PSMA can give you an idea about the regional uh, 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 recurrence, but also give you an idea about the nodal and distant metastasis as well. But there is a, some pitfall. There will be a, around chances of 5% prostate cancer. It can be can be negative, low expression of PSMA. It can give you a, a, false, a false positive in prostate, sarcoid and tuberculosis. There is a summary of the what are the indication of prostate. Uh, it can be useful in the intermediate to high risk. Very good yield in the biochemical recurrence, even in a low state, uh, low PSA uh, rate. Uh, it can be low yield in the low risk, and it will be an invest investigational role in the low clinical yield as well. And potential uh, uh, application will the guiding biopsy, monitoring therapy, and guide you for the treatment response or eligibility of the lutetium PSMA therapy. The take-home message is that the PSMA can be valuable role, but still in investigational in the planning and management of the LDR prostate brachytherapy. It provides you accurate information about the localization, extent, and characteristic. It'll help you optimizing treatment plan. Multi-modality approach can improve the accuracy of radiotherapy planning. Conclusion, PSMA has a superior accuracy to the conventional imaging prostate cancer. Uh, it can be used in the intermediate to high-risk localized prostate cancer. It has a valuable role in biochemical recurrence. It gave you an idea about the extent of the disease to guide your therapy, and it can be useful in the monitoring therapy response as well. Thank you very much.